at the same time, I think the hate on Taylor Swift is so comically overrated that it's like it almost pisses me off. Because the reasons people hate her is because she's a woman. Because if it was a man doing the I same thing. I think you thing, was going that route, but I'm listening. No, if it, if a man was doing the same thing, everyone would love it. Proof number one, Ed Sheeran. Oh, I'm sorry. Taylor Swift just makes songs about relationships and how they affect her. Here's Ed Sheeran. Number two, in my last point, Drake. <laughs> Not oh, wrong. I'm sorry. He has a trap beat over it, so he's allowed to talk about her relationships, but she has the country theme to it, so it's fucking dumb. No. Give them the same. Glad thing. you said Drake, because if you did say Drake, I was about to be like, Scott, I got one more for you to add to your argument. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Now, Drake has sorry, three, I, I didn't Drake mean to rant. No, you're, no, you're not wrong. Drake literally has three albums of ex-boyfriend music. There's more than three, but I'll give you that. No, no, no. Literally, I'm talking like I'm talking like the theme of the album was ex boyfriend shit. Take care. Nothing was you. nothing was the same. Take care and um what you called? Um the A side of Scorpio. No, okay. the B side of Scorpio, excuse me. I don't I'm even know if I count Scorpion. I no, I'm talking about the B like pretty... No, no, because you know, you know, you know Scorpion uh, has an A side and a B side, right? Yeah, but it, I don't know. Like he made the so many the songs that were so similar. short that was only meant for people to stream it and stream it over yeah. and over and over. No, no, no. The, I'm the talking strictly the that I don't even. I'm, count I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking strictly the B side. The B side was a lot of ex boyfriend, baby daddy bullshit. Wasn't that after he was like exposed? <laughs> yeah, the A side. The, the A side. In my opinion, the A side was fake disses and and um, fake accountability and a little bit of rap and some weak some weak ass fuck you bars to push your teeth. Jabez <laughs> loving this. And then and then the B side was, oh, I'm not gonna give y'all ex boyfriend music this time. Now I'm gonna give y'all struggling baby daddy music. Like, I'm so hurt right yeah, now. Yeah, so bro. Listen, right the, the B listen. Usual, usual Drake music is, I'm still hurt, even though I'm probably going to have sex with three different women in one night. Oh, yeah. life it. is so difficult <laughs> while I live in a mansion. I probably own a, a house in Toronto so big, it might as well have its own zip code. Oh, why haven't you called me back, even though I'm texting six other girls? But I'm hard. And, 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 and then B-side and B -side yeah. Scorpion is, I'm giving you a proper fair amount of child support, but now you won't let me clean up your image so that I look better to the public. Uh, like, that's all the B-side truly yeah. was. You guys found out about my baby mom without my consent, but I'm living with it. And you at, know, least my, at least my son is cute. Uh, like, that's all it is. You remember that uh, that meme that came out a while ago it was asking, uh, when will people accept Drake on the same level that they accept Tupac? You remember that? And I strongly Never. did not agree with it. Never. Wait, wait, in what in what way? I don't think Tupac and Drake can be compared because, in my opinion, um. Tupac does not have a complete body of work because unfortunately it was taken from the world too soon. I don't think it's fair to compare someone who's like eight albums deep to a guy who only got the two fucking albums. Like, Granted, he made huge impacts, but how the fuck can you do that? I'm, like, right, I'm right down the middle with it. Works. Which, you know, I know. Like, I'm a white male. I definitely feel like... No, 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 no. That's not why, that's not why I'm making... No, listen, ears have, sound has no fucking color. The, 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 point, the point I was going to make is, though, honestly, is people are never going to, he's never going to be compared to Tupac because Drake isn't relatable. Yeah. No, not true. He's not relatable, G. A lot of, not true. Most, I disagree. 
most do I'm most do with Scott. To disagree. Oh well, so let, let me let me finish my point. Then y'all okay. can get the as a light skinned no nigga that debate. suffered through plenty of heartbreak. Where I'm let me tell you something right now. When Drake <laughs> said, "When Drake said, I better find your love and I better find your heart," I felt that right here. Okay, no, that's yeah. Fair. And when Carly, like but, but, Jay Jepsen, but, whatever, said, "Call me maybe," you were like, "Maybe I will call her maybe." That doesn't make her a great artist. Right. <laughs> better find your loving. I better find your heart. I bet if I give all my love, then that, nothing's gonna tear us if, apart. That if, was a lie. And we've if, all felt that we for a to, bit once in our fucking lives. If we if, if we went if we went twenty relatable. For 20, if we went twenty for twenty with Tupac and Drake, right? How many relatable tracks will Tupac have compared to the twenty that come from Drake? Tupac also has less songs than Drake. Doesn't no, matter. By a, by a large margin. Oh, a very okay, large. But no, because somebody that's could talk. Why I no. think that that's unfair. That, 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 wait, wait, wait. Because I think that somebody could talk to you for one hour and make a big impact on your life. And yeah. somebody could talk to you for three hours and while be interesting yeah. and important to the conversation that you're having. And also, Javan, you have your life. Sorry. And also, Javan, you have to think about this. Tupac's music was for a certain type of nigga. Drake's that's music. True. That's not true. That's not true. Not not entirely. Drake's music is for oh, light oh. rich niggas. Let's call it what it is. Drake's music yep. is for and, 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 and you're looking at one. And you're looking at one. No, Drake no, definitely no, 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 no. Drake because that song does. Chris Andino can cry to. Stop. Yes, he does. No. No. Um, put it to you like this. By the time we were teenagers. Drake was ascending to become the greatest hip hop artist statistically. Yeah. Okay. Right? No, I could yeah, I could agree with that. Yeah. Right, right. And there's a reason I said statistically. Um that's important. Y'all realize y'all realize that like we are either in our prime or reaching our prime, right? Yep. They are officially generations before us that in some cases, like for example, my little brother, they're grown now. Mm -hmm. Drake is still the biggest hip hop artist. Mm -hmm. Which means, put it to you like this, when I the, the, one more point I want to make. Yeah. The kids behind us are going to go into their time of being us and telling the kids behind them, back in their day, Drake was the man. You realize that when we were teenagers. That's unfortunate, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> but no, but think about it. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. What I, I'm saying is Drake is so Drake has gotten so large that he spans generations already. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because he touched the top pretty fucking fast and he didn't move. Okay, but can I can Hold I interject up. something as a like before you go, let me make this one point, okay. right? The fact that, we, that we're even having this conversation right now is a testament to Tupac's power, right? That's fair. Like, the, I mean, I, I, mean I, I hate that we don't talk about Biggie enough, but that, whatever. Tupac is just a name that I brought up. We can talk Biggie, but... Um, I think Biggie better than Tupac, but whatever. We can get into that. Um, I, uh, I agree with you. The fact you agree with me, Scott? Yeah, I do, actually. Let's fucking go, Scott. Sorry, sorry. The fact, sorry. The, fact that, the fact that there aren't uh, enough people who actually believe that Drake should uh, should be compared to Tupac and Tupac is fucking dead. And Drake has, what, you said eight albums, right? Eight believe albums. Tw twice as many albums as Tupac. And Tupac is fucking dead. And Drake still... Quadruple. <laughs> Tupac has, like, four albums, I'm pretty sure. Four or five. Aren't two of them post-mortem, though? No. He has post-mortem albums, though, doesn't he? He does have post-mortem <laughs> albums. He had, like, four while he was alive. I'm pretty sure. Four or five. I thought it was only two. Mm-mm. Or is that Biggie? That might have been Biggie. Yeah, because Tupac already had albums before Biggie started, like, but, getting out there. But that is... that is. They, a were, just, they were just, like, similar in age. Because Yeah, Biggie, Biggie was considered Tupac's little brother. But... Um, I mean, Biggie better than that, but I hear you. Hey, whatever you want to say. How do you want to, but like he was considered. I don't like that you're not agreeing with me, but I hear you. I'm going to get to that. I don't want to get to that right now while I'm in the middle of trying to make mm -hmm. a point. 
<laughs> anyway, the fact that Tupac is dead and Drake, like to a lot of to a lot of people, Drake is still proving himself to get to that level, right? Is a testament to his to his power. Mm-hmm. To me. The fact that we even have to sit here and have this conversation. It, it, if Drake was that great, somebody should be able to say Drake is on Tupac level and everybody here say I agree. 